Hello, today I will tell you about the basic light tracer material based on the Disney principled model, also known as the PBR shader. The material consists of the two layers, the base layer and the optional dielectric coating. The base layer defined in terms of widely used metalness roughness workflow. It based on a distinction between two types of materials, dielectric and conductive. Dielectric materials include glass, plastic, ceramic, wood and so on, while the conductive materials include steel, copper, gold and other metals. The main parameter is base color, that's the surface color for dielectrics and reflectance value for metals. The metalness defines how much the material is like a metal. Non-metallic materials such as wood or stone use 0, metallic use 1.0. A value between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 could be used, for example, for a rusty metal look. The next important parameter is roughness, controlling how rough the surface is. Use 0 for smooth mirror reflection and 1 for a rough diffuse surface. There are also some advanced parameters which can be tuned to simulate specific materials. For smooth dielectric surfaces you can tune the strength of reflections and their color using the reflectivity and tint parameters respectively. For example for a diamond you would like to set reflectivity to 1. Another useful parameter is fabric sheen. It creates a soft reflection at the edges of the material needed for fabric look. As you can see, when you increase this value, the fabric seems more silky and soft. Using the transparency setting, you can make a surface partially or completely transparent. We'll use it for the flame. We'll also add some emission to turn the flame into light source. Finally, to make the candle more realistic, let's change the subsurface parameter. It is used to approximate light scattering in materials like wax and human skin. Now let's move on to the coat layer, allowing to get a lacquered wood coating look. For more complex materials like car paints we can change the color of that coating and its thickness. Note that you can attach an optional textures to texture slots if you need to vary material properties across the surface. Let's apply some texture to the Lego guy. There is a built-in library with more than 1500 PBR texture materials. As you can see, principled material allows to model a wide range of surfaces without the need to edit complicated node graphs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next videos.